the views and opinions expressed on this stream do not necessarily reflect the views of Hybrid Hype Gaming LLC or its affiliates. Yo, what's up? It's your boy F to the Z. Yeah, I know I ain't wearing my regular hat. You know what I'm saying? I got a rock, you know, my mama's gear. You know what I'm saying? How it is. I'm from South Florida. You know what I'm saying? New York raised. Florida, a real born Florida raised. But hey, here we are. Anyways. There's something I got to get off my motherfucking chest. Hey, my friend Sean here. Sean, like, like, like. Lead, lead back. Lead back. Lead back. Lead back. Lead back. Before you're in the shot. you this stupid ass glass. All right, you know what? Well, I can't lie, cause I got those stupid ass glasses too. <laughs> so, like, anyways, anyways. So we just saw the movie *Brightburn*. Now, *Brightburn* is a twist of the Superman mythos, where you know what I'm saying a couple that can't conceive in the heartland of America, Kansas. All right. They see like a meteor crash or whatever. Go to investigate. It's a pod with a baby in it, and they take the baby in, raise it as their own, the baby eventually gets powers, right? Now here's where the similarities end, all right? And this, the twist on it is that, you know, the kid just starts killing everybody. That's the whole premise of the movie, all right? I don't think it was executed well. Dumbass, all right? This guy, all right, this guy feels that it was a good movie. It was awesome. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. All right, right. I mean, I mean, it was cool. It was like you know what you think that Superman would do if he was real. I mean, he's a kid that gets pissed off and has superpowers. I mean, if your parents told you to go clean your room, yeah, you but there was nothing that yeah, but they didn't they didn't do nothing to set him off. What did they do to set him off? I mean, what does it take to set off a twelve year old? Would like take away his PlayStation? I mean, it doesn't take a whole lot. Yeah, but it's not like he did anything to get that PlayStation taken away. That's that's the point I'm trying to make here. There's no, there's no conflict that sends them in that direction, and I feel for that that the movie was too, it was too shadowly written. Like, all right, all right, he had like the crush on the girl, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he goes, not knowing any better, pops up in a room and then down a night trying to play that love music, love songs on her. That was life. super creepy. I thought that was a good part. I thought that really made it like a horror movie. I mean, it was creepy as fuck. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But. Then, like, the next day, this guy goes and breaks every finger and breaks her whole hand. <laughs> Excuse me. What? In front of everybody. Yeah, see, I'm learning to bullshit. That's why, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, no, I mean, I think you're just expecting too much from this movie. Listen, if I go to watch any movie, I expect a lot. All right, you're making millions of dollars with these movies. <laughs> Give me a good movie. If I'm paying... Well, tell you, you paid. But I, this is a very, very appreciative medium. Like, filmmaking, that's something that I eventually want to do. I mean? True, true. So, I watch a bunch of films. I read stuff. Sometimes I get bored. I look up scripts and shit like that. And I, I, I break it down. Like, a lot of people, a lot of my friends know I'm a tokusatsu fan. That's how I learn how to do special effects. Uh -huh. You go back... Anyways, like I'll put in a little cut where I explain that, but I mean for the most part it's like Toku, Toku what? You still <laughs> on that? Oh my god! No, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. But. Anyways, anyways, what the point I'm making is there, there was nothing that was really driving the plot. All right, look, think of all the people he kills. Oh, by the way, spoilers. Uh, yeah. If that wasn't obvious, there's, um, there's, a, it's there's too late a, now. a lot of killing. If you're a fan of horror movies, you'll definitely like this. I'll give them this. It was gross. The special effects were off the chain. Yeah, it was. It was. I the thought gore it was, was great. The special effects were great. I mean, I thought it was like super creepy how there was like that the voices talking to him in his head. That really like fucked me up a little bit, especially like when he was like walking towards the uh, spaceship itself. It was like. Blah, 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 blah. And like I was like eating my popcorn, definitely almost choked there. Yeah, creep, creepy parts. I was damn near trying not to fall asleep. Yeah, I seen it before. Listen, they literally did that in Dragon Ball. Did they? Yes, in Dragon Ball Z. Look, when when they 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 actually when Gohan gets taken aside by Piccolo and starts his training, 
he ends up at the bottom of the of, of, of the, the very he didn't feed. That was a cartoon. So the fuck what? It is still yes. a written week. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That cartoon has been on the air since 1989. True. It's old All right. as fuck. And mind you, people rag on that for being too shallow or being too uh, too simple-minded. So, yeah, I figure a Hollywood movie would have a lot more to offer than that. Hey, I'm got, just keeping did, it a we, buck, we, bro. We did get free candy and popcorn. Yeah, but that's because of, you know, Men in Black. True, movie which was which we didn't watch. We should have, but that movie was <laughs> that movie straight booty, according to the like what everybody says. And yeah, I'm, but yeah, you gotta go. You, but you know what? I'll definitely go watch it just to see that is booty myself. They even had like, like if someone told me Brightburn was booty, I would actually I actually still would have went out and watched it just to see if it actually is booty. And I see now I'm in that position that I have seen it. That movie is booty. The, that movie was booty. Yeah, like it was literally like it was. It everybody was, was fucked off the rip, off the rip. I mean, like it was. Like, it was cool. It was cool. The concept was cool. I just feel like, you know, like yeah, it was cool for what it was—a horror movie and the fact that there was the killing and everything. But I felt like that the the story needed like some deeper writing. Like, like they could have went so much deeper than that. Even though he's twelve. They could have gave him a little, like... They got, like I said, there was no real push. Like, for example, like, in the beginning of the movie, you see he's getting picked on, right? Now, all of this is, like, some fat black dude chuckling in his face, har, 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 and saying some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? But, like, like for instance, take Carrie, for instance. Maybe... They fucked with that bitch hardcore in Carrie. Not to mention, on top of that, all right, she was being abused by her mom. See, all that makes sense. That she goes on a killing spree because her life is absolute shit. There's a kid who lived on a farm. His mom loved him to death. His dad loved him. All right. You know what I'm saying? His auntie and their uncle was, was straight with him and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. He ain't got no friends. But they didn't really show that. They just like, yeah. They they, 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 they had the scene they with the. He didn't have any friends? I guess. You don't see him chill with nobody. Oh, that's true. That's you know what I'm true. saying? He was kind of a loner. But the difference between being a loner and being somebody that everybody fucked with, that's the difference. See, you ain't see no one really fuck with him. You know what I mean? Like, if he opens his locker and they put, like, dried fish guts in his locker. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, movie up. Carrie was the shit. Yo, what's up, I Metroid? It was next one into yesterday, by the way. Anyways, all right. The wait, thing- wait, wait. I, I was going to say that, um, like, I just wish... Maybe maybe the whole reason why the movie was written so bad is because they were just mimicking all the other DC movies that come out in Hollywood, you know, poorly written lately. Maybe that I mean because James Gunn did come from Marvel, so I'm just saying, like maybe he's like, oh yeah, if we don't if we write the script too good, it won't be like the actual Superman movies that come out. No, I don't think they wrote that. I'm just so, saying, just saying, I don't think they wrote fan that. Theory, fan let's, theory. Oh, I think it's a bad <laughs> fan theory because the thing is, I don't Badly feel written DC movies. I don't feel. <laughs> Marvel trying to copy that. <laughs> nah, nah. See, what I'm trying to say is this. I mean, you want this, you want the similarities to end. Like, yeah, uh, promise-wise, it would start out like that. But once you break off from that promise, you don't want to have anything. Wait, we're breaking. We're breaking. We're breaking. Ah, this guy. Anyways, <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is this. Like... While the kills he did do were impressive looking. Kill count, like 10 million. You know what I'm saying? There was like no actual meat to his, to his, to his motives. Meat? Like, like gay? <laughs> why are you always on that gay stuff, man? I don't know. You, you, said, so... you said meat, man. It was just like. It's meat. Meat. You eat meat. It's meat. It's... You, you eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is that the, the plot was too... <laughs> All right, like, when you have somebody start killing, even if indiscriminately, you actually have to make sure there is a guiding force behind that. All right, like I mentioned Carrie at, uh, beforehand. All right, she stayed getting fucked with. All right. And then, mind you, what was supposed to be, like, the happiest day of her life, the pig blood, everyone laughing, 
All right, so her life at home shit. Wait, her life at Terry, school Terry shit. Terry, that one where that girl is like on fire at like the end with the like car and stuff and the family and all that. They like remade it recently or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, the I, the I, original I was that. Sissy Spacek. Then it was remade with uh, Chloe, uh, Chloe Grace Moretz. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. By that. the way, Chloe, if you're ever watching this, yo, let me take you out. Like I know I ain't rich like you is, but you can be my eat. sugar mama, baby. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hey, let a brother at least, you know, take you out to somewhere nice. You know what I'm saying? Or at least as far as my budget goes, like Cheesecake Factory or something. Holla at your boy. Holla. All right. Holla. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is, all right, there, there's, there's a driving force behind them just going batshit crazy and using their powers to kill everybody. You know what movie was good? It Follows. That was a good horror movie. Oh, I haven't seen that movie, but I'll, oh. watch, I'll, I'll definitely give it a gander. That, that was on Netflix. That was actually, hey, that right. gave me nightmares. That shit was crazy. But then Anyways. again, it doesn't take a lot to give me nightmares. Yeah, that's why, that's you why call, you watch. You saw it's me weak jumping ass. in the movie. Oh my God, he was jumping like a bitch. I was sitting here just like... <laughs> I do, I do, I, I do uh, scream on the Tower bitch. of Terror. What can I say? Well, come on, it's the Tower of Terror. I screamed, dude, there's a pit, dude. I wish, I wish I could find that over. I'm going to ask my mom for that fucking picture. I know she has it in the closet somewhere. I will scan it and I'll put that in a video one day. Chloe is so much younger than us. Hey, old enough Chloe, to Chloe. vote, old enough to poke. All wait, right, how Chloe, 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 how old is she? All right, you know what? We have the internet since you know. Wait, wait. Who is Chloe again? Like, what show is she from? Bro, all right. Uh... Chloe Kardashian? No. Oh, I was gonna say I don't think Chloe Kardashian is that. Is that the she was in she was the chicken Ted too? Oh, I thought we were talking about like the uh, fat Kardashian. All right, she's twenty two. Damn, yeah, she, she's fine, bro. She is. Fine. Yeah, she's twenty two. All right. Whew. Yeah, she's legal. All right. Oh yeah, she can get it. All right, so Chloe, holla at your boy, Sean LaBeouf. Hey, I said free. I said holla at me first. Anyways, the point I'm trying now we getting sidetracked. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna have to cut like half of this shit out the stream. Anyways. Wait, wait, your friend said something in there about It Follows, like... In yeah, the, he said he said the movie was fucked up, and I'm pretty sure it was a fucked up movie. Oh, so yeah. So, it was a fucked that, up that, movie, I'll gladly up. go watch it. You know what else is good? Annihilation. Why are we sidetracking, dude? We're supposed to be a movie review, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Like, did you smoke? No, I mean, but... That, no, I didn't. You lying. That would be... See, don't do drugs, kids. This is what happens. When you do drugs, do do copious and amounts of drugs, and you don't know your limits, and and make sure make sure you take lots of ginkaloba, in case you forget shit. <sighs> I hate this guy. <laughs> anyways, anyways, all right. To get to the point, all right. Which for like the eighteenth millionth time, I'm gonna have so much fun editing this. Anyways, like, Never if he had like a bad. Hey man, younger is better than older. Let me tell you something. Hey, Last thing listen, you need is a dry when desert. we were in our early 20s and we saw girls our age hooking up with dudes in their 30s and we was getting salty, now we're those guys. Hey, you gotta... Accept it. You gotta just say... Accept it. it. Guys don't have uh, biological clocks, man. Long as, you know... Long, yeah, I'm telling you. you know I'm telling you. Know I'm, I'm like Rick Flair, boy. Well, I'll never get old. As long as the engine's still working the car. And I'm never gonna get old. I gotta... Wife that wants a 35 year old man every day of her life. She needs that 35 year old man. Are still driving, that's all I'm saying. Woo! Woo! That's just a fact. Woo! Thank you. Woo, 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 woo! I just feel that, like, if they gave, if more people gave him shit, to give him a reason to have that bad outlook. It's just one day the ship just goes off and his eyes glow red and now it's fuck everybody. Well, I mean, he did get rejected by that girl. It's not even an idea of getting rejected. You he popped up in her bedroom at like 2.30 in the fucking morning. Well, I mean, you got to think about this, He though. popped up in her bedroom in the dead of night. I mean, Post Malone got rejected by a girl, and then he started a whole career after that. Well, that's Post Malone. That song he made on that Spider-Man movie was pretty good. Oh, my God. You and that <laughs> fucking song. All right. Obviously, I'm going to try this again when this guy's not here. Because this guy... It was fun. It was fun. This guy has the short attention span it, of a lab rat. All well, right? let's sum it up like this. Uh, if we, if I had to say, like, on a scale of one to five on that movie, um, I would definitely give it uh, a three. But just surely because it didn't 
the uh, the idea was better than the plot itself. It, it was made for a better trailer than it did for a movie. So I would say a three out of five. But if I was just going on goriness and coolness, I would definitely give it a four out of five. But don't go expecting expecting to get that. Uh like like I said, it was a dope concept. But that's one of those like you're sitting around your boys drinking, having you cracking a cold one with the boys. You know, and so on, you know, we, we make it a funny ass joke. You know, you're funny, man. It's, man, he was legit. Said, yo, fuck this earth shit. I'm running things. And just start destroying everything. And everybody laughed. And then someone decided, hey, I'm just going to make a movie out of that. That's that's Bright Burn in a nutshell. Now, like I said, I thought the plot was messed up. Uh, I'm going to give it, I'll also give it three stars because at least the ending was not cliche. I'll give it that. that We're not that gonna. I'm cool. not gonna spoil the ending, but so give you a chance to actually go watch it. So if there is any slight chance for you to enjoy said movie, I don't want to rob you of that chance. But so, uh, yeah. Final say. So zero. Three out of five. So, yeah, out of five, yeah, yeah. I think I think that's a consensus. Three out of five. Yeah, three, out of five. That's three out of five. The special yeah. effects were great. All right. Sean LaBeouf gives it a three out of five. AFC right. gives it a three out of five. All right, and uh, I guess that's it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll probably be back on later. Probably stream some Apex or something. I don't know. Till then, love, peace, chicken grease. And when I leave, smack together like butt cheeks. Mm -hmm.